all your excuses are lies. Little lies that you think makes life easier, but they don't. Now I know in the morning, you got that blanket giving you a warm hug and you got the, the pillow, which is whispering in your ear, telling you it's okay, telling you to stay just a little longer, but don't listen to them. They're lying to you. Listen to your alarm clock, which is telling you to get up and get some. Listen to the weight room, the pull-up bar, which is telling you to face reality. And listen to your will, which is telling you to get up and crush everything, regardless of how you feel. Don't negotiate with weakness. Kill it. See, in life, you can go through life, you can come up with reasons or you can come up with results. You can come up with excuses or you can come up with achievements. You can go through life blaming or you can come up with solutions. The choice is in your hands, satisfaction or despair. We can choose that. You don't get better on the daggone couch. You get better by coming out here and getting the f after it every daggone day. When that alarm clock goes off at four or five in the morning, your mind says no. You just say, this is what we do now. My new norm is you get up every fucking morning at four o'clock and you suffer. That became my new fucking life. Most people want to get out of it. I said, no, motherfucker, this is your new life. This is who you are. I don't care how small it is. I don't care how minuscule the movement is, but make movement, move forward, and do that every single day, no matter what. You aren't getting any closer to your five-year plan or your three-year plan or your seven-year plan or any plan that you've got unless you get up and start getting after it. Today, you can't just say you want it. You can't watch the video and say, I want it as bad as I want to breathe. It's true to say it. But when it's showtime, when the sun comes up, you got all the books, you got all the tapes, you got all the access. Now it's time to hunt. And what separates you from everybody else is that when it's time to hunt, you ready to hunt. Everybody wants to prize, but nobody loves to process. Everybody wants to be a champion, but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to be a champion. Everybody wants to hold up the trophy and say, man, I did it, but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to do it. I love the process. I love the thought of working for what I want. And I firmly believe you're never supposed to wish for it more than you're willing to work for it. Your expectations are never supposed to exceed your effort. But a lot of people, they wish, and they're not willing to work. And the great thing about life, life has a funny way of testing all of us and seeing how bad we really want what it is that we say we want. When you work for something, it gives you a different type of attachment to it. The harder you work, the harder it is to surrender. That's why cats can give up so easy. They ain't got nothing invested. But when a cat work for something, like when a cat been sacrificed for something, well, you're going to have a cold day in hell before you take it from them. Write down one or two things that you're going to commit to doing every single day, no matter what. You're going to use that motivation to become a machine every single day, no matter what. You don't think about it. When you have built a habit, it's ingrained in your nervous system in such a way that the brain doesn't even have to consider whether or not it'll get done. It just gets done because you committed. Commit once to the thing that you're going to do, and then you do it every single day. That is what transforms you. It's not the grand visions, it's the tiny actions that move towards a worthy ideal. The good feelings in your body is an indication that there's something that you want. Now you get to work by doing it every single day. When you want to do something great with your life, something that is beyond those visions other people around you see for themselves, they're going to try to tear you down. They'll tell you you can't do it. You don't have what it takes. You're just a dreamer. People that don't have any dreams for themselves, they tend to be dream killers. Their family and friends and loved ones, in most cases, they will be the first to try and talk you out of your dreams, your visions and ideas. They will say, who wants you when you put on all that weight? Who wants you when you're looking like this? and been through this and been through that. Nobody's interested in you. Nobody's checking for you. They'll laugh at you. They'll call you names because they have no dreams. They have no hunger for success. They don't have an appetite. They don't want it. But I want to remind you to continue to dream 
and dream big. When they fight against you and your dreams of the future, that hurts. They won't see it like you do, but they don't have to. Only you do. You're the only one who has to see it for yourself. I want to win so bad, my hunger and appetite for success is intimidating. It scares the shit out of people. And people around me say, slow down, stop. You're doing too much. Your appetite is too big. I can't help myself. I want to win. Don't let these opinions of other people pull you off course. How do you do that? You ignore and outwork each and every one of them. You see, while they watch you and talk shit about you, you put in more effort. You work diligently. You focus on taking things to the next level. They'll keep spreading rumors and you will keep working. They'll keep talking negatively, and you will keep working. They'll keep focusing on everything and everyone else, and you'll keep working. And when they finally take a look around at their lives and compare it to yours, they'll come to the realization that they have absolutely no valid reasons to criticize anymore. And they will be the ones to lose, while you will be the one to succeed. I will not be outworked. You may be smarter, you may be faster, you may be better than me in nine different categories, but you will never work harder than me. I will make my dreams come true. I don't care what it takes, I'll pay whatever price is required. Only those that can see the invisible can do what seems to be impossible. You have to be relentless. You have to never let off the gas, never stop, never quit. Never allow anyone to talk you out of the dream, the vision, and ideas that God has sent you. You gotta grind and hustle. You're gonna even have the doubt, the spirit of doubt is gonna kick in. And you're gonna say, why did I move out here? Everybody laughed at me. Everybody was looking at me like, man, you crazy as a mom. You just gonna leave your city, the comfortability of your house, your family, your environment, all your friends, your loved one to go seek a dream and a Seek something that you're passionate about? Absolutely. Don't expect people to understand you. Don't expect it to make sense to anybody why you've got to do this, why you have got to go, why you leave. This is a good job. I'm going. They pay you well. I'm going. Why? I don't understand. You don't have to. I'm going for me because I've made a different kind of commitment with my life. This is something I have got to do. Because it's very easy to become your environment. It's very easy to become duplicates of the mediocre and average people surrounding you. So wake up every day and decide that you love yourself enough to commit yourself to you. If you concern yourself with what everyone else is doing and how everyone else feels about the things you're pursuing, you'll never get anything done. So you gotta focus on yourself. You've gotta focus on your dream, on your vision, on what it is you want in your life. You're supposed to live your life, focus on your intentions and do your thing. All the people that are living on the top have all decided that I'm gonna commit myself to this career, this vision, this goal, training, education, no parties. They're gonna call you names. They're gonna say you're corny. They're gonna call you a square. They're gonna say that you're a weirdo because you don't fuck with nobody. Those are the characteristics of a champion. Those are the characteristics of someone that have said, that I have decided that I'm going to create a shift in this universe. If you look at documentaries on Steve Jobs and Oprah and all of the above, they are weird because they've seen things that no one else seen for their career path. They are living beyond what is expected because they were obedient to the vision. When you get to the point where you do the work consistently, you invest in yourself consistently, you make sacrifices consistently when everybody else is slacking off, when everybody's partying, when everybody's making excuses you will dominate every single person you're up against and your limits become non-existent if we looked at your background you should have been a basket case you should have had a nervous breakdown and lost your mind but there's something in your gut in your heart in your spirit in your innermost being that said hold on that instinct that still small voice is about to turn your life around. And it doesn't matter how you get knocked down in life, because that's gonna happen. All that matters is that you gotta get up. Fall down, get back up again. Fall down, get back up again. Fall down, get back up again. 
It ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. The hardships that we've had are actually the things that teach us the skills and the perspective we need to actually become what we want to be. And if you quit, if you falter, if you stop, all the pain will be for nothing. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. Get control of yourself. Get control of your emotions. Don't get angry. Don't get frustrated. Instead, stay calm and figure out how to move forward. Don't you stop until you turn that house into a home, that mess into a message, that test into a testimony. Don't you stop until you see increase. Whatever it is I want, this price is going to get much higher than this. It's going to get harder than this. And I've decided in advance it's going to be difficult, and I've decided in advance to stay in. I'm going to stay in the hunt. I'm going to stay fighting. I'm going to stay busting it. I'm going to pay the price until I get what it is that I deserve. The people in life that win play offense, not defense. Stop backing into everything. Stand up. Bow your back a little bit. Start to walk a little different. Start to be that best version of you. You need to look yourself in the mirror and encourage yourself and say I'm still gifted. I've been through some pain but I'm still gifted. I've buried some loved ones but I'm still gifted. I've had some setbacks but I'm still gifted. You have to resolve yourself today that you're going to win, that you're going to dominate, that you're not average and ordinary. There has to become a point where you make a decision. We're going to dominate. We're here to win. We are not here to play. And that takes some intestinal fortitude. It takes a decision. I'm where I'm at because I just flat decided it's at some point, I get to just choose who I am. The world doesn't tell me who I am. And in every family, there's a the one that eventually shows up in a family. They rise up and changes the whole family forever. I'm the damn one. And in your family, you could be the one. It's you. You've got to make it your personal business to make it happen. And you've got to resolve within yourself that I'm the one. I'm the one to make this happen. I'm the one to become successful in this business. But you know it's going to be hard, but find out what will make it worth it for you. When life drops you to your knees, your reasons will help you get back up. Why are you here, Les? Because I want to make Mama proud of you. Why are you here, Les? I promise my kids I'm going to do for them. I'm going to give them a better life. I want to leave them a legacy. I'm not going to give up. Go back. Go back, fool. Go back! No! No! The people that are running after their dream know they're going to have hard times. They keep on running because they're saying within themselves, I'm the one. I'm the one. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. We're going to all experience some hard knocks in life. You're going to make some mistakes. You're going to fall flat on your face. You're going to be criticized when you come out into the arena called life. You're going to feel awkward and stupid and dumb sometimes. Life will test you like that. How bad do you really want it? How bad you want it? I'm going to take your car. You're going to have creditors calling you every day. How focused can you be? You're going to lose all of the materialistic things you have. How positive can you be now? You're going to lose your job. And people who you thought will help you won't be there for you. Where is your feeling of being empowered, having the capacity to create now? That's going to happen to you, life. And I say that what's necessary is that you stand courageously, daringly, that you become bold. In spite of this, I'm not giving up on my dream. I want the guy who struggled. I want the guy that failed and could still get back up again. Your problem is your pain has identified you. Your pain has weakened you. And some of you, as long as it's a perfect day, you operate in excellence. As soon as the circumstances change, you quit, you give up. So what makes ET different than everybody else? Every year, I just kept going. I kept going and I kept going and I kept saying one day it's going to be my day. But you know what I'm not going to do? I'm not going to quit in the process. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give in. Don't let life change your name. Don't let it change your name. 
Don't you be nasty just because they're nasty. Don't you be hateful just because they're hateful. Don't you be vengeful just because they're vengeful. Don't lose yourself in your situation. Don't let your situation eat up yourself. Learn to be your own booster. When I started trying to convince myself I can be a businessman after flopping and failing and losing thousands of dollars and feeling stupid and dumb and having people take advantage of me because of what I didn't know, I had to talk to myself because people were saying to me that I was dumb. And somewhere in the back of my mind, I was saying, you're right, look at what I've done. I had to say, no, 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 Les. Hey, hey, come on, man, get yourself together. You can handle this. You just haven't figured it out yet. It's all right. This is your training period. This is the tuition you have to pay for what you don't know. You can do this. Other people have done it. Doesn't take an Einstein. Get you some people that can teach you some stuff that you don't know. Get you some people that have done it successfully and learn from them. Take some seminars, workshops, read some books on how to manage a business. Change the way you see yourself and begin to attend to the personal details. Understand that nobody's going to take care of your business better than you. See, this is something that you can't be in this business. This business has to be in you. If you trust yourself, if you believe and don't doubt in everything in you, you can do it, you can do it. When you say a situation, a person is hopeless, you're slamming the door in the face of God. There's no guarantee that because somebody is now down on their luck, they can never come back. Who can guarantee that you can't make, that you can't have your dream? All we need to do is we look at our dream. If we get ready to hit the floor, I'm blessed and highly favored. Don't let circumstances turn you around. Don't let hard times turn you around. Whatever you're experiencing, you know that this too shall pass. That you have the ability to make it happen. Why? You got a sense of entitlement. I deserve this, and whatever I have to do, I'm willing to step up into face life and grab it in a collar and say, give it up, because it's mine. How much longer are you going to wait? How much longer? You're going to wait another 30 seconds? You're going to wait another minute? You're going to wait another hour? Maybe we'll, we'll start in a couple hours. You know what? How about I just wait till tomorrow? You're going to wait till tomorrow? You're going to wait another week? You're going to wait another month? How much longer are you going to wait? All great people start. They start anywhere, at any place, and at any time. They start whether they're hurting, they start whether they're excited. It does not matter where they are, they just start. Just start. Just do the work. You just go, and procrastination dies. If you can't control your own brain, and your brain controls you, you're fucked. You have control over your mind, you just have to assert it. Weakness doesn't get a vote. Laziness doesn't get a vote. Sadness doesn't get a vote. Frustration doesn't get a vote. Negativity doesn't get a vote. Your temper doesn't get a vote. So next time you are feeling weak or lazy or soft, tell those feelings they don't get a vote. When that alarm clock goes off at four or five in the morning, your mind says no. You just say, this is what we do. It's what we do now. You gotta tell your brain where you wanna go and how you wanna go and how you wanna get there. You don't get better on a daggone couch. You get better by coming out here and getting the fuck after it every daggone day. And then once you do this over and over and over again, it becomes like breathing. I don't want to live this lifestyle, but to get to the other side of this, I have to. You have to suffer. You have to make that a tattoo on your fucking brain so when that hard time comes again, you don't forget it. You have to struggle. The bigger the struggle, the bigger the peace. Expand yourself. Take yourself out your comfort zone. If you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you will fail. You will fail in your comfort zone. Success is not a comfortable procedure. It is a very uncomfortable thing to attempt. So you gotta get comfortable being uncomfortable if you ever wanna be successful. You have to attack. You have to keep attacking. The enemy has to know he is not going to give up. You must break the soul of whatever the f is in front of you. If you keep on attacking something, nothing wants to stand in front of anything that is relentless. But you have to have the will, the heart, the courage to go that distance when you're exactly jacked up. You have nothing left to give and give more. It starts with you. It's about a commitment to you. That's what's wrong with a lot of you. 
because you want somebody else to be more committed to you than you want to be to yourself. And you got to get to the point where no other human wants it for you more than you want it for you. Right now, make the decision that any price is worth it for you to make your family proud of you, for you to make your dream happen. Stop negotiating the price. This negotiation you keep doing in your mind, is this really where I'm supposed to be? Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? It steals all your energy. It steals your focus. But those of you that get laser focused, become totally immersed in your dream, that know those babies of yours, your parents, they're worth the sacrifice. Your hardships, your challenges, your situation will either be the reason you don't make it or it will be the story you tell when you do make it and you get to make that choice. I want to talk to somebody who ain't so happy, but you still believe. I want to talk to somebody who's wrestling in their flesh, but you still believe. You got a reason inside of yourself. I'm better than this. I'm stronger than this. I will survive this. Who on this earth would still be going right now? You are. You are. Some things are going to happen that are not in your control. You're going to get knocked around. Don't let your environment make you weak. You got to get to the point in your life where you say, I have had it. I'm not going to live like this anymore. No, there's got to be more for me. I got tired of losing. I got tired of coming up short. I got tired of eating out of trash cans. I got tired of watching everybody else graduate. I got tired. At some point, you got to be fucking tired of not being number one. You have to be, and you gotta can play angry. You think things are gonna just go your way? Well, they're not gonna just go your way. You think things are gonna just happen for you? Well, they're not just gonna happen for you. You gotta make them happen. See, life don't give you what you want. Life don't give you what you'd love to have. Everybody would love to be successful, right? Everybody wants success. They want financial independence. Life gives you what you will excel. If you will excel failure, hardships, disappointment, that's exactly what life's going to give you, right? If you want to win, you got to show up and demand for yourself success and fulfillment and happiness. You got to believe I can do this. I was created for this. I was called for this. You have to arm on your mind. Start preparing yourself for what's out here in life. Build confidence. Build self-esteem. You got to start thinking, I'm the greatest motherfucker in the world. You can turn your life around if you change your attitude. You change your attitude, you change your altitude. Stop sitting in here with a life of mediocrity when that ain't what God created you for. You have to start living your life in expectation. You have got to start expecting great things to happen for you in order for it to happen. The moment you change the frequency that your tower emits, different things come back to you. Start working and developing yourself now and prepare yourself for what it is that you want because you expect to get it. Yes, it can happen. Yes, you can have it. Yes, you can be it. Yes, you can do it. But you have to be very proactive. You can't sit back and wait for it to happen. We're going to go get it. I cannot allow what happens on the outside to impact my attitude. No matter what else is going on, you got to make up in your mind. It's either a blessing or it's a lesson. If you fail, you get back up. You say, how can I do it differently this time? I can't stop. I won't stop. Get out of cruise control and get in control. Get in control of your day. Get in control of your hours. Get in control of your second by taking control of your life. People don't realize what you got to give up to become great. What sacrifices you got to make to become great. What promises you got to make to yourself to become great. Greatness ain't a thought process. Greatness is a lifestyle. It's what you live like. It's what you get every day. Breathe. To want and to be ambitious and to want to be successful is not enough. That's just desire. To know what you want, to understand why you're doing it, to dedicate every breath in your body to achieve if you feel you have something to give, if you feel that your particular talent is worth developing, is worth caring for, then there's nothing you can't achieve. If you want to take the island, burn the boats. 
is that there's no way to go back. It's amazing what happens when it's a must versus a should. Clarity is power. The more clear you are about exactly what it is you want, the more your brain knows how to get there. Don't stop. Narrow your focus to one idea. One. Make it your priority and stick with it no matter what. Your mind will say, okay, we're going to figure it out because he is not going to stop. I don't know one motherfucker that is successful that doesn't take inventory of every fucking comment that anybody has ever made to them. Every time somebody doubts them, they get fucking pissed. And when they get pissed, they go out and do productive things. They don't dwell. They don't sit at home crying their beer. They go to the gym. They get their business plan together. They do whatever the fuck it takes to smash people in the fucking mouth with their progress. Build the kind of life that says I told you so without having to say a fucking word. It's about taking what people say you can't do and shoving it down their mother fucking throat. A hundred to fucking nothing. That's how I operate. And that's how you should be thinking about it too. Effort is isolated. Nobody can dictate. Effort is 100% in the mind. Don't give in. Don't be like everybody else. Don't give up. Don't settle because things are hard. Don't let people talk you into their life. Become stronger. Become better. Become faster. Become smarter. Become more productive. I'm ready to work that thing. I'm ready to come up out of my fear and my doubt and my worry. I'm ready to work every day and every opportunity. I'm ready to work that thing. Once you know where you are supposed to be, you need to run. Run means more might. It means more effort. It means more energy. It costs more to do it. You gotta spend more. You'll use more muscles. You'll burn more fuel. You'll expend more energy because destiny is expensive. You cannot step into a great destiny with a mediocre effort. You have to hit that thing with all of your might and all of your strength and all of your power. Run! What does a $500,000 a year person do The $50,000 a year person doesn't do? He pays the price a little bit more. He works hard a little bit more. He believes in a little bit more. He makes money a little bit more. He saves money a little bit more. They do it and do it and do it until the job gets done. If you want to become somebody, do it. If you want to go in business for yourself, do it. If you want to become financially independent, do it. You do it and do it and do it. So if you want that half a million dollar house and that fucking Range Rover and the shit that you guys want, it's full throttle or no champagne bottle. There's a lot said in our self-help culture about starting things. You have a business that you want to start? Yeah, you should absolutely go and start that. You have a project that you've been thinking about for a while? Go start. There's this whole idea that if you can just get yourself to start, you know, starting is the hardest thing. You've got to get into it. Go for it. Do it. Stop talking about it. Start. The problem is, if people are bad at starting, they're even worse at finishing things. They take all of this enjoyment from starting, forgetting that there is untold enjoyment in finishing. The satisfaction of getting something done, of feeling like you have a completed project, of getting to the end of it and being able to put that stamp that says, I'm done, I finished, I don't need to look at this again, it's done. There is so much enjoyment that we can take from that that we do not get when we half-heartedly move from one project to the next. As soon as one gets difficult or lacks interest, we move on to the next one. Are you interested in achieving these goals or are you committed? If you're interested, you'll do what's convenient. You'll come up with stories and excuses and reasons why you can't. But if you're committed, you will do whatever it takes. You'll let go of your stories. You'll let go of your excuses. You'll let go of all the reasons you currently have that are formulating your identity of yourself. And you'll learn how to let that go and become who you are destined to become. You trying to get to the next level and you just interested. You kidding yourself. Forget about it. If you want to get to the next level, if you want to eat it, if you want to live it, if you want to be it, if you want to do it, stop talking about it and give me full commitment. You can be the person who says, this is going to f***ing work no matter what happens, no matter how frustrated I get, no matter how angry I get, no matter what, I'm f***ing 
fucking doing this. If you're committed, you'll start today to let go of your stories, your excuses, your reasons why you can't and why you won't. You'll upgrade your knowledge. You'll upgrade your skills. You'll come in every single day and figure out how you can achieve those goals. It's about executing regardless of your emotions. These test days, they test your fortitude, your endurance, your discipline, your grit, your dedication, your determination, your mental toughness at the very moment when everything in you wants to do absolutely nothing. You got to get the job done. Stop having dialogue with your emotions. Stop negotiating with your feelings and start to act. That's where people separate themselves from the pack. That's where people earn the right to success. They earn the money. They earn the life. They earn the relationship. They earn the body in those little moments where they don't want to do what they need to do, but move forward regardless of how they feel. That's what champions know, champions understand, and champions fucking thrive on. All of us, at some time or another, have agonized over making a decision. Some decisions are major decisions, and also there are a lot of small decisions that we don't make that they tax our minds, they drain our energy, they create a lot of anxiety and nervousness and mental torment because we don't take care of it. We decide not to decide, which is a decision. Imagine you're on your deathbed and standing around your deathbed are the ghosts representing your unfulfilled potential. The ghost of the ideas you never acted on, the ghost of the talents you didn't use. And they're standing around your bed, angry, disappointed, and upset. They say, we came to you because you could have brought us to life, they say. And now we have to go to the grave together. So I ask you today, how many ghosts are going to be around your bed when your time comes? How much time do you spend working on you? How much time do you spend every day working on your dream? What kind of investment have you made in you? If your mentality is, I can't wait to see what happens great to me in 2022, you are going to get fucking sh as a result. Life does not reward people who wait to see what happens. What you put in, you will get out. So if you want 2022 to actually be different, you have to not only be willing to visualize and manifest, you have to be willing to grit it out. You have to be willing to push through discomfort. Nothing that you're about to try or do or achieve that is worthwhile is going to be comfortable for you during the process of creating it. And I want you to take the word hope and I want you to throw it on the motherfucking ground and I want you to replace it with the word I will fucking do in 2022. Woe be unto you if you go into another year and waste another year with the old mentality while somebody's in the hospital begging God for the opportunity that you have right now. You better step into this moment. You're only here for a short time. If you're not going to show people what's possible, who the fuck else is? Who's going to show your kids? Who's going to show your aunts and uncles? Who's going to show your fucking nieces and nephews? Are you going to fail those people? Are you going to buy into the narrative that you can't? Stand up for your dreams. Stand up for what you want in your life. Decide that your life is so meaningful to you, that you love you and you love life so much that you're going to stand up for something you want. You don't want to be a spectator. You want to get out in the field where the action is and you will be amazed. After the struggle, there will be a calm period and things will begin to click for you. Come out here with what you got. You don't have enough money? Don't worry about it. You got the dream. You must be patient, persistent, and positive no matter what. But aren't there some guarantees you can give us? Yes, you're going to die. You can't get out of life alive. So I'm saying to you, you got six months to live. Live your life now. Live your dreams now. Start acting like this is your last day on the planet. Short-term thinking says the donut tastes good eat it short-term thinking says one workout doesn't matter i can skip it short-term thinking encourages you to make short-term emotional decisions that hurt you in the long run 
the more short-term decisions you make, decisions that are based on that immediate gratification, decisions based on quick emotional satisfaction, the further from the path you will stray. That's why I say you've got to pay attention. You have to watch every single second because those seconds turn into minutes and minutes turn into hours and hours turn into days and days turn into years. You need tactical wins. You need to win battles in order to win the war. You need to get out of bed, you need to run, you need to work out, you need to read and study and practice, and you need to do things that you don't necessarily want to do. And I know that can be hard. That's why people lose the war. The daily fight is a challenge. You will not always want to do what you need to do. You will not always feel like doing something you need to do. You may not want to fight that battle, but you need to. You need to know your strategic goals and you need to know why they are important. And then you need to get up, get out of your damn bed, get off your phone, get out of the soft and addictive comfort zone and get into the combat zone where you have to fight, where you have to dig deep. You have to be vigilant. You have to be on guard. You have to hold the line on the seemingly insignificant little things. Things that shouldn't matter, but things that do. You gotta stop telling yourself that you're doing enough. You have to do more. In life, it's never enough until you feel this overwhelming feeling. Oh, sh man. I'm out working the crowd. I'm out working everybody. I'm doing more. Once you get there, that's when you know you've done enough. Think strategic all the time. Before any action or any inaction, ask yourself, is this action going to make me stronger or weaker? You have to tell yourself the truth. And the truth is, you have time, you have the skill, you have the knowledge and the willpower and the discipline to get it done. Most people don't ever make it where they want to go because they give themselves mental outs. They can say, oh, this business doesn't make enough money. So they quit. You have to learn to train your brain with a zero options mentality. You have to learn to seek out, to be uncomfortable. You have to put yourself in positions where your back is against the wall. That's when you're gonna can fight. Through the inspiration of desperation, you'll become more creative than ever before. Throw your whole self into it. See, most people go at it tentatively. They don't give all their stuff. They don't concentrate. And if you don't have what you want, stop telling yourself the story because you don't have the money, you don't have the time. That's bullshit. It's because you haven't committed yourself where you would burn your boats. If you want to take the fucking island, burn your fucking boats and you will take the island because people, when they're going to either die or succeed, tend to succeed. When you don't have any other option but to succeed, your chances of success are pretty fucking good. It is, I am going to fucking succeed no matter what I have to do, no matter how hard it is, no matter how difficult the road, no matter how many obstacles stand in my way, no matter how many people stand in my way, no matter what. On the days I don't feel like it, guess what? I'm still getting up, I'm still putting my fucking work boots on, and I'm still going out and kicking fucking ass. That's what people who succeed do. The battle. The battle is actually in your head. You're not gonna hear noises, you're not gonna hear gunfire, you're not gonna hear any explosions. It's not that kind of battle. What's in your head is weakness and laziness. And they're not attacking, they're sneaking around. They're poisoning the strength in your brain. You are putting things off because in the short term, it's easier it's more comfortable, it's more pleasurable to be distracted or to indulge yourself doing something else than it is to sit down and do the actual work to create the outputs that matter when they are needed. And I know what it's like to tell yourself, I'm gonna start on Monday. And then for the next five days, you gorge yourself or you're extra lazy or you treat yourself extra much because you know you're gonna do it this time and this time I'm serious and this time I'm for real and I'm gonna get it done except you're not, and you know you're not. And if you really want it to change, and if you really want to make a change, and you really want to be different, and you really want it to be this time, start now. 
I don't care if it's nine o'clock at night. Do something productive towards what it is you're trying to become. Because I can tell you right now for sure that the people who tell themselves, I'm going to start Monday, never can start Monday. All you have to do to kill procrastination is just start. You just go and procrastination dies. So don't wonder how you overcome procrastination. It's easy. All you do to overcome procrastination is go. Stop waiting for something to move you and move yourself. Every day, move yourself. In the morning, move yourself. In the afternoon, move yourself. At night, move yourself. Be very intentional and very deliberate about moving yourself. You control your feelings. Don't nobody else control your feelings. So when you tell me I ain't feeling it no more, it don't got nothing to do with something external. It's something internal that you ain't pushing no more. You push you. You got to move you. Every single day, if you get to a point in your day and you down and out, if you get to a point in your day and you exhausted, you get to a point in your day and you're not feeling it, you can stop right there and change the mood. Nothing controls you. You control your feelings. You control your mood. Nobody control your mood. You saw something that threw you off, well, see something that threw you back on. The only way to get out of the mental trap is to stop thinking and actually start doing it. Because all the research shows that if we can push you to get started on something, you'll likely keep going. Little things you're putting off, do it. And do it right now. When you make a decision to do something, you flip your brain onto the frequency that you have to be on to do it. You don't have to know how to do it. You only have to know you're going to do it. Just commit that you wake up and every single damn day, you push yourself to take one small action forward. There's always going to be a reason to wait. There's always going to be something that is inconvenient for you to work through. There's always going to be a busy schedule. It's always going to be that way. You have to f***ing work through it. There's always going to be a reason for you to do what it takes now if you want it bad enough. But a lot of you motherfuckers just don't want it. And unless you're committed 100%, you just aren't going to make it. The processes of success are always inconvenient in the beginning. They don't stay that way. If you stick with it, if you give it time, if you work through the inconveniences, they become habit. It's just something automatic. And if you can create automatic actions that are positive in your life, you're going to create automatic winning. No more rationalizing, no more reasons, no more distractions. I dare you to shut out the world. I dare you to give up everything that is keeping you from your dream. Clubs, f the partying, f the hanging out and getting drunk. Now is the time to stay focused. If it's gonna happen, it's gonna be you that makes it happen. The only motherfucking thing that beats you is you. The only thing that can stop you is you. And most of y'all are not under covenant. And covenant means me and you, if the company go down, we go down with it. We do not retreat. We do not give up. We do not surrender. And the reason why most of you are not successful is because every single time stuff not going your way, you give up, you quit, you let go. And people feel weakness. They feel it. You can feel when somebody's not committed, when they're not all in, when they're not dedicated. And there's another level you get to when you go all in. Everything is a test. Everything as an opportunity, if you allow it to be. You must shrink your focus down to one thing, one business, one focus at one time, and master it and get great at it for an extended period of time. The more you shrink your options in pursuit of your dream, the more it'll open them up in your life later. What are the things that are stealing your focus? Who are the people that are stealing your focus? And begin to eliminate these distractions. Get laser focused and obsessed on what you want. Be starving and hungry to get it. Be desperate to get it. The combination of desperation and hunger with laser focus over an extended period of time is the formula to be great at something. And the only way you prove to yourself that you really want it is that you no longer hit the snooze button. You no longer lose focus when you're studying. You no longer take shortcuts. You no longer playing games. You are willing to do whatever it takes. I'll do whatever it takes to get to that milestone. When you build this mental toughness by looking at every little thing as a test of your will and your ability to do what you say you're going to do, your life is going to get better. 
And the difference between beast and average people is that average people live from check to check. Average people don't think about their future. They're consumed with the present. You're not going to be the best if you're not intentional and deliberate. You got to be intentional and deliberate. Whether you're making money or not making money, you got to decide that you're going to do something and you got to do it every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday, every Thursday. The problem with some of you in this room, you're not intentional and deliberate. You're a good person that just hopes the good stuff is going to happen to you. You got to be a morning person, afternoon person, night person. You got to be when you feel good person, when you sick person, when you tired person. I'm wired differently. I look at my wife every single day and I said, I got to grind. I got to grind for my wife. And so I execute for my mom. I execute for my grandma. I execute for my sister. That's why I can't quit and give up, even though I get tired just like everybody else. You have to be relentless. You have to never let off the gas, never stop, never quit. People who are extremely well accomplished, they have the ability to mentally flip that switch to where they don't have a choice but to do the things they need to do. They will talk as if they don't succeed, the world is going to fucking end. Listen to me, this is how you do it first with no money, no human resources, no building, no funding, no support. The first thing we did was we dreamed, we wrote the dream down, we slept the dream, we ate the dream, we rehearsed the dream, we looked at the dream, we talked about the dream, we slept with the dream, we woke up to the dream, we wore the dream, and now boom, it's our reality. You want something? You make up your mind. And yes, it's going to be hard, it's going to be difficult, and you get more no's than you do yes, but when you hold out, things will begin to happen, you won't even understand how. And you don't get here by quitting when you're tired, you get here by quitting when you finish, when you're done. You don't stop when you're tired. You stop when you're done. You stop when you complete it, when you execute it. Execution is worship. There's a moment when you say to yourself, it can't be done. At some point, everything's going to go south on you. And you're going to say, this is it. This is how I end. Now, you can either accept that or you can get to work. You just begin. You do the math. You solve one problem. And you solve the next one. Instead of backing down, you push yourself forward into the unknown. Do you realize that every day you thought you wasn't going to make it? Do you remember them days where you thought it was absolutely unbearable and you thought you wasn't going to endure that one? Do you know that your survival rate for every last one of them bad days is 100%? You batting a thousand. You survived every hater. You survived all the evictions. You survived the firings. You survived all the tell you no, we ain't hiring. You survived all the trouble you ever been in. Your survival rate is 100%. You got to proactively prepare to catch yourselves. When you find yourself getting negative with people that you have allowed to push your buttons, when you find yourself becoming negative about what's happening to you and the circumstances that you're involved in, this belongs to you. This is yours. You're the captain. You're the master. You're the foreman. You're the general. You're the head. Don't give control of this to nobody. You're going to hit a wall. Everybody hits the wall. And that wall shocked some people. That wall knocked the life out of some people. That wall discouraged some people. The wall is painful. Some will choose to go back, but there's some small number who, when they hit that wall, they decide, wait a minute, I'm supposed to be over there. This person doesn't care about the pain because this person knows something. There's no gain without pain. So this person comes back anyhow, again and again and again. And if you keep on hitting that wall, here's what happens to you that you will have an incredible breakthrough. And it's as if the universe says, let's help him out. I admire that kind of tenacity. Let's give her a hand. Let's send her assistance, send her resources. It will come out of nowhere. As you're working times with tears falling down your face, and you'll look back on the times and you will cherish those times. Whatever storm you found yourself in today, don't give up. And I know it hurts. And I know you don't want to take it anymore. Your dreams look like you're seeing them from underwater. But don't give up. 
you have not seen the best days of your life yet. But you have to start living your life in expectation. You have got to start expecting great things to happen for you in order for it to happen. If you live your life in expectations, that's what happens to you. If you live your life in despair, that's what happens to you. Say this to yourself every day. It's not over until I win. It's not over till I get through. It's not over till I get over. It's not over till I get what I want. Door can't open today. Look out. I'm going to come back and take the hinges off. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how we must be. No guts, no glory. You've got to be willing to face rejection and no again and again and again. Defeat again and again and again. And every time life knocks you down, you jump up and say, It's not over until I win. It's you, ladies and gentlemen, you've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen. Nobody's going to care more about your dream than you. No one is going to care more about you becoming diamond than you. If you want to make it happen, it's you. But you've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen. I'm speaking to the people who want more. The people who want to be the f***ing pinnacle. The people who want to be accomplished. The people who want to make a f***ing difference. You guys are going to have to go all the f*** in. Make your choice.